I'm Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial on PHP variables for the new Boston. Now if you've programmed in uh, any other programming languages you'll know what variables are and you'll understand what they do, that you have to assign values to variables and that there's different types of variables. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create variables um, by assigning value, values to our standard structure that we use for variables and then how to echo them out to the browser. So usually in programming languages such as JavaScript, anything like that, you'd have to use a keyword such as var. Uh, then what you'd do is you'd type the name uh, of the variable and then you'd assign a value to it. So in this case it would be var name equals Alex um, and this would be surrounded to show that it's string data. Now um, same as if you were to say say var age equals 21 uh, that would be exactly the same example however in PHP um, we don't really need to use any keywords to define anything um, all we really need to do is use our dollar sign notation all variables start with a dollar sign they can either start with an underscore or um, a character um, an alphanumeric character so it can, it can be um, uh, uppercase, um, it can be lowercase, um, or in fact it can be, it can start with a number, but it can't consist of just a number. So, if we were to say create a variable here called text, and um, we could make that um, equal to hello world. So the notation that we've used is we've used the dollar sign to start our variable. Notice we haven't specified what type a variable it is. It's not a string. Uh, usually you might have to use a string keyword. We've just used dollar sign text equals so we're assigning a value to this variable here and the value that we've assigned is some string data and that is hello world inside there. Uh, now we could say um, assign um, we want to create a variable uh, with a number so we could type number equals and without using quotation marks because if we were to put say a number in here this is now classed as string data so if we take it out you can see that my text editor has turned it red and we're just dealing with a numeric value an integer value um, as well as integers you can also use a uh, floating value so you can use decimal points within uh, so we could have a hundred point um, five for example uh, but for now I'm just going to work with integers we also have things like boolean values which is equal to true false um, and uh, yeah, as equal to this a boolean for true would be the same as one it just means that something's true so we can use that later on when we work with if statements uh, and things like that so we've got our variables but how are we going to output them now there's one easy way to output variables and that's just to put an echo straight in the middle so what um, or at the start sorry so what we're doing um, let's just add a full stop in here what we're doing is we're echoing out um, essentially the assignment of um, the vari the text to the variable and here we're echoing out the assignment of this integer to this variable um, but this will work so if we have a look and refresh you can see that we've got hello world and then the number 100 printed now this is um, not a great way to do things because what we want to do is we want to declare the variables up here and well with our assignment and then here we want to um, display them to the user so for example I could say echo text um, and we can refresh our page and you can see that that's just echoed out our single variable text so we're just echoing text uh, don't forget your line terminator um, as well we can echo number so if we refresh we've got 100 there so we've just basically echoed out a number now as you're programming and you find different uses for storing different things, for example you might want to take the user's age or take the user's name, you'll find that you will be storing things, um, well, you'll be storing string data and you'll be storing um, numerical data as well, so integers, uh, floats, things like that. So in actual fact it's so easy in PHP because you don't need to think about what data you're storing, you just need to use the notation with a dollar sign, the variable name following the rules and then just the value to the uh, variable so you can see that PHP variables are in fact really easy